we're facing challenging times, to put it mildly. And the experience of living through this pandemic has amplified my real passion to serve. Um, I have found in my life that when I have uh, given time and effort uh, to service, whether as a community leader, as an attorney, as a United States congressman, um, and been able to make a difference that improves people's lives, um, it's been meaningful. Uh, and somewhere I got the help gene. Um, I just have this sense that when uh, it's time to step up, uh, it's the right thing for citizens to step up. It's what I did when I ran for Congress. I'd never run for anything before, but I saw our country going in the wrong direction. And I said, I need to do whatever I can do to help turn this ship around. And got elected to Congress, got elected president of the freshman class, and was a national co-chair for Barack Obama. Uh, and helped change the course of the country, at least for a considerable time, and make some real change. Because I see our state uh, poised for a, a kind of change that will improve people's lives. There is so much good and great about our state to keep and so much we need to change in terms of making sure that we have a 21st century education for our kids, that everybody can, can get health care when they need it, that we're doing something really active and important about climate change, and that we're building a creative economy that keeps young people here and attracts businesses. Now, those are somewhat superficial because it takes a particular set of skills and experience to be an effective legislator. I found that my particular set of skills was really effective when I was a member of Congress because I believe in building bridges. I believe in being able to disagree without being disagreeable. I believe in working together uh, even with people with whom I may not agree on everything. And I also am really proud of what I accomplished in Congress and what I hope to accomplish as a state senator.